Tunghaya naman natin ang mga kaganapan sa pagtitipod ng ilang kawani ng pamahalaan at pribadong sektor kamakilan na layuning mapalawak ang akses sa medisina ng bansa. Panoorin po natin ito. Nagsama-sama ang iba't ibang sektor, mga eksperto sa larangan ng kalusugan, pribado at non-profit organization para sa isang layunin na mapabuti ang akses ng mga gamot sa Southeast Asia. Ito ay inorganisa ng isang pharmaceutical company na may temang Access to Medicine Summit 2024, Building Bridges, a Blueprint for Collaborative and Innovative Access to Medicine. Building bridges, we think, is a really good theme because it does take multiple parties and strong collaboration between public organizations and private organizations uh, to make a meaningful impact, again, on the healthcare system infrastructure and strengthening in, in workers and access to physical medicine in the short term uh, with the goal towards improving healthcare uh, over the long term as well. Nakatoon ng summit sa pagtutulungan ng bawat bansa upang malaman kung paano malalampasan at mapabilis ang akses sa supply at magkaroon ng pantay na akses sa medisina at itaguyod ang mga patakaran nito. We can partner with different segments within these countries to enable better access to patients. So within Southeast Asia, we've seen an improvement of universal health care coverage um, across the spectrum of the countries that we operate within. But we've also seen numerous challenges in the out-of-pocket segment and the ability for patients to actually get access to innovative treatment. And post-pandemic, we still see a lag of patients being diagnosed, patients coming back into the healthcare framework, as well as the ability to get access to these treatments. Isa sa naging panauhing pandangal ng Naturang Summit ay si Chairperson Committee on Health and Demography na si Senator Lawrence Bongo. Hinihikayat niya ang kagawaran ng kalusugan at iba pang ahensya na ipatupad at iyakin ng availability, accessibility at affordability ng mga gamot na kailangan ng mga Pilipino. Sa inisyatibong ito, maraming mga Pilipino ang makikinabang rito marahil ay mababawasan na ang mga taong may malubhang sakit. Kung patuloy tayong magkakaisa sa iisang hangarin, lahat tayo ay sabay-sabay at walang maiiwan sa access man sa medisina o kahit sa anumang sitwasyon.